everybody. Thanks for coming to my channel. This is Kim from Kim Can't Stop Crafting and I am a design team member for Country Craft Creations. And if you are not aware, Country Craft Creations now has their own paper line and it is absolutely beautiful papers. Um, she has a great eye for detail and putting things together and I think you're going to love what I have to show you today. Um, the I'm going to show you three paper lines. The first one is called Baby Dreams Girl and the second one is Baby Dreams Boy. And then I'm going to show you Tea in Wonderland, which is kind of a um, totally different look actually than what I'm going to show you first. So first of all, she's been putting together some paper that matches the collection so that you can have some solids that kind of uh, enhance the colors in the paper uh, collection and kind of spreads out your paper a little bit. I apologize for the crinkle, but I didn't take them out ahead of time. So here are some papers that are going to match the collection. Okay, you'll notice, uh, I hope the color's coming through. I adjust my, see, to me that's not bright enough. Um, I don't know that you can really see how, let me mess with the color just for a second. No, that is not good. Uh, that's better. It's not great, but um, let's see. Maybe that's better. Anyway, um, two of them are the dot paper. You've got cream, a brown, yellow, green, kind of a sage. Um, these are, uh, this one is a sparkle, glittery type, goldish, tan paper. And then you have this coral color. So if you're interested in getting some papers to match and to coordinate, she's got these. So the paper collection is, um, it has 24 sheets. And so she likes to put in three of each design, which is awesome because then you have, you can use one of each side because you know they're different patterns on each side. And then you have that one extra that you can kind of do with as you please. So again, I need to take it out of the wrapper. So if you don't like that sound, I'm sorry. I think you're going to love what you have to see here. So here's that paper. Okay. So I hope, hope, hope that just does not do this paper justice. You guys, I really want you to see the color that is in here. It's a peachy, uh, peachy pink, if that's such a color. And I really, I want to adjust this so you can, nope, wrong direction. Maybe that's a little better. I don't know. Well, hopefully you'll get the gist of um, the paper colors. So this first one is adorable. It has a combination of flowers, which I think are more um, adults. And then you have kind of these little playful little animals that are more child. So I think that people think baby, but not always, not with this collection. You can kind of use it for a variety of things. There are little balloons that the animals are holding on to. There's some font, um, some script in the background. We have stars. So that's a good variety, stars, flowers, animals, balloons. Um, on the other side, now this is more of a white background also. And on the other side, look at those cute balloons. Now this is a more muted, um, subtle side. The colors aren't as vibrant, which is good because you don't want everything popping out at you. Like, you know, you want a variety, but this one has a pattern and then the other three balloons are solid. There's also the background that makes it look like there's, um, kind of an aged look to it. And like I said, you get three of each design. Okay. So there's number one. The second one, we still have the flowers they are in both corners maybe if i get it closer um, we have this adorable lamb the balloons are attached to it there's a little bunny off to the side that's holding a balloon there's a cloud background again you have some script down at the bottom and on the other side balloons again that's a lie what did, i forgot i must have grabbed four pieces instead of three Yep, the balloons were on the back of that one. On the back of the first one was stars. Okay, more of a washed look. This one was the balloons. All right, we have 
floral at the top. So the other one had it on the corners. This one is along the top. We still have, this is like a ledger in the background. You can see there's um, the script, but there's also some numbers. We have that adorable little critter on the cloud with the uh, balloon, star balloon, and the back is stars. Okay. Three of those. This one has the larger balloons. That bunny is so cute. The floral pattern throughout. All these papers coordinate so nicely. Then this is a pink stripe, that pinky color with some stars and some splatter. This is an Art Bristol, let's see, it's called Bristol Vellum. And I think you're going to love the texture of this paper. It's not like a raised texture, but there's a feel of vellum, but yet it's not a full vellum. So it scores really nice and it's just the right weight. So this one is birthday. So this would be perfect for an album for an, a new mom. This uh, sheep is a uh, lamb is a little bit bigger than the other one. Larger balloons, the floral, and on the back is just the floral, and it's really pretty. It's subtle, but yet it's got the right amount of color in there. But it's a washed look. So if you order this based off of what you see, you're going to even love it more when you get it. Because like I said, in I think I'm ca catching it or capturing it like I would like to. We've got a, uh, three of the animals on this one. Here we have some geometric background figures. This is like a kind of like a coffee stain and more stars on the back. three of those. This one says loved right here in the cloud. Balloons, flower, script. And on the back we just have a multicolored stripe with some watercolor splashes. This is the smaller print of the animals, but not, see, you notice on all the papers the your eye goes to different things. So in this one, because the pattern goes at a diagonal, um, that's noticeable, but also the flowers are a lot larger. So that brings your attention to the corners also. And on the back of this one, you'll see there's like an open area. You've got the splatter, like the... Uh, coffee stain kind of. You've got some script and some stars. And then along with this paper collection and uh, what you call it? Uh, cardstock, you can also order some flowers from that she has in the store that match. I grabbed three. Um, not sure which ones I'm going to use quite yet. But I do like to use a variety of sizes. So I did grab some small ones. These are the Prima flowers. And I don't see a name on those. Um, I grabbed some medium size. And these have a sparkle. These are actually a pink, um, yellow, and then like a grayish color. And then I grabbed some larger ones. And I also grabbed some in a different color. So this is a green and they have a sparkle to it also. Oh my gosh, you guys, I want the color to be better. Hmm. Ew, not that. Hmm. Nope, not that. I should have done this ahead of time, sorry. Maybe that. Okay. So uh, these are the five is one more. Not sure if I'll be using it, but it's also a Prima collection of flowers. There's pink, the sagey green, and then the there's a flower that has a pattern on it. So I just don't know yet, but these are the ones that I pulled, and I will let you know as I do my project which ones I used if you're interested in knowing. So let me scoop this to the uh, side here in just a second. There's also, I gotta find it, um, seam binding that also matches. And so she pulled a pink 
kind of a beigey brownish gold and then a green color okay so that's baby girl there is also a baby boy and she did the same thing she pulled some coordinating papers and i'm going to open those so you can kind of get an idea of the color scheme so there's a brown You have a cream. Now this is a glimmer. Uh, this one is. It's kind of got some sparkle to it. I don't think you can tell, but it does. A yellow dot. A pretty much a pure white. And like a denim blue, and that is glimmer. Yellow polka dot. This one's more of a goldish yellow. This one's more of a, a light yellow and then kind of a grayish color. So that's the coordinating papers. Um, along with that, there is seam binding to match this one also. Two different colors of blue and a yellow. So let's get to the actual collection. This one, you know, I'm kind of a pink person, but I love this paper so much. The blues and the yellows together are just gorgeous. All right, so the animals again. This time we have a little raccoon. Butterflies throughout. Again, a horizontal stripe on this one with stars and some script. Uh, this is not script. This is a print in the back. It says, dream big, little one. And on the back, you have the animals on the moon. There's a deer and then that raccoon. We have the moon with a star hanging and stars in the background. Again, three of each. But to find baby paper that's got this classy look to it, I think is rare. I think she really, really hit it on the head with this one. So now we have a little bear sleeping, the deer, and the raccoon. This one's got a little nightcap on. There's a, a, a crown here in the bottom some watercolor splash and on the back of this one we have the deer and then there's a little nightcap a little hat in the background with a watercolor and cloud background this also her paper will always be the vellum bristol so like i said it's got a really nice feel and weight to it this one is gorgeous so the butterflies really pop on this We've got, it looks like um, from a paper in the background, the writing. So there's uh, print and there is um, uh, cursive. On the back of this one, clouds and a moon. So this one says boy and I love this down here in the center You've got your butterflies and stars. There's butterflies on the lettering. You've got print over on the side, but I like this ripped paper look there. And on the other side of that one, you have larger moon stars, some writing and some watercolor splashes. Here we have a little bunny with again the butterflies. These are your um, fleur-de-lis type looking uh, background with the stars. And look at that back. <laughs> Is that not cute or what? There's a little, few carrots here and there in the clouds. I just absolutely love it. So again, here's the pattern that kind of goes at a diagonal. There's some hanging uh, baubles and like a star here on the back of this one. We saw these at the Utah retreat. She had them displayed. They were all hanging up on a um, on a display board and oh my gosh, to see them all laid out together. Oh, people were drooling. Okay, this is gorgeous. So you have the stars, the flowers at the top and the bottom, butterflies, the monarch butterflies. You've got the bear sleeping on the moon. You've got the watercolor. I mean, it's just a great combination of everything. 
And here we have some clouds, some watercolor, some Z's like you're sleeping, the nightcap. And I can't really pick a favorite, you know, these are all just so beautiful. This one, focal point in the center, that fox laying down. It's got that circular pattern or going around it. And the fox on the back. And that is the baby boy. So I grabbed some flowers for this collection. And again, as I make the project, I will let you know which ones I ended up using. But um, some cream colored ones. This, you guys, has that vellum paper in the back that's got uh, writing on it that you want to save and use for something. But there's some pearls, the leaves, the berries, then more of the blues in this one. And then this is a combination of some blues, some light peach. But all of those together will, I'll use those. Okay. So that is Baby Boy Dreams. And now... This is the paper that I used uh, at the Utah retreat. It is Alice themed, uh, Alice in Wonderland themed. So let me open up and show you what you will get with this paper collection. So this is the cut apart page, which is nice to have. And there's a variety of sizes. Most of them are three by four, but here's some four by fours. The colors are real pretty pink blues blacks and then um, here's some cut aparts she has a page of cut aparts too so this is also a collection where she did three and on the other side is just a subtle blue with some real light font i keep saying font i'm script is what i'm trying to think of and the actual paper collection get ready Look at this. Oh, like your angel singing. 24 sheets. And oh, I cut some of this. Hold on. Okay. So this was the cut apart. And on the back of this cut apart is pink and black. Here we have like a black and white, like the marquee. And you've got the rabbit in the corner with the top hat, flowers in the opposite corners. You have some scroll work here that's in pink. Look at that little rabbit. On the back of this, it's just the black and the white diamond. We have a floral print. The background is a, a blue with the script, but the flowers, there's like a pink. Uh, tan color, blue, some white, and then there's that blue on the back. Um, this one, look, 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 the eat me, the clock, or the uh, stopwatch, cake with the flower, and that's that was the same uh, design that was on the back of the cut of parts too. Blue and white diamond and the cards on the other side. We have a black and white stripe with top hats and keys and stopwatches and the cake, cupcake, Alice, like she's falling down the rabbit hole. And then on the back is the stripe with the clocks. And I think when you have paper like this with um, some of the other papers, this kind of just, uh, uh, this is not a word, but adultifies it, you know, like kind of makes it so that it could be more um, adult also. Maybe that's just me, but that's what I think. This is a blue and pink stripe, and then there's like a lace up at the top. And on the other side, look at this arrangement the teapot the cards the cupcake top hat and flowers and then down here we have the dress and the tea kettle and the, some teacups it's just beautiful um, like i said i made an album with this and i just it turned out so pretty 
it was so eye-catching because of the colors. Here we have a play on the cards because there's the card suits with pink and black and then the dress and the teapot and, and uh, teacups. And I believe there's one more design. This is the back. It's a pink floral, kind of a watercolor look. And then on this side, the key flowers, teacup. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. And then like I said, there's cut aparts that go with it. So you guys, the papers that are coming out of Country Craft Creations, unbelievable. You're going to love them. You're going to see them in person. You're going to feel them. The colors are much more bright, uh, vibrant. So if you have not yet taken a look, go to countrycraftcreations.com. It is the paper is exclusive to her store. And I think you're going to be, I know you're going to be pleasantly surprised when you get it. So I will be making a project with the boy and girl paper and I'll be doing a tutorial. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you have questions about any of the paper or where to order or where to go look, I'll put the web address in the description box. Um, but I am going to let you go so that I can start making and playing with this paper. Have a good one.